Hey, what's going on guys? As you can see, I just got off the water. Had a really good day. Didn't catch any slobs, but I caught numbers. A lot of two, two and a quarters, two and a halfs. I got a few picks up on Facebook. Feel free to check that out if you haven't already. Uh, if you're not friends already, there's a link on my channel. Feel free to send me a friend request. Reason for making this video, uh, you guys keep asking for a boat tour video. Now there's already a video um, of my boat on my channel, but I didn't have any tackle in it. And that's pretty much what you guys want to see. You know, what tackle I bring with me and how it's organized and all that. As of right now, it's pretty much stocked for spring and summer. You know, as fall gets here, I'll change a few things around. Uh, swap a few rods out, a little bit of tackle, but for the most part, it's pretty stocked. This is the 2009 Bass Tracker Pro Team 175 TXW. I want to give a quick shout out to Cole West. His channel name is Big Bass Master One. He has a 2013 model. A lot of you guys keep asking me questions about that model. I'm going to refer all you guys over to his channel. He's got a really sweet channel. Really popular on YouTube. A lot of great fishing videos. A lot of tips and tricks and stuff like that. Definitely check him out if you haven't. Big Bass Master One. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. As far as the outboard goes, we've got a 50 horse Mercury on the back, two stroke. Up front. I upgraded this uh, this year. There was a, uh, I believe it was a 46 pound. Uh, motor guide up here, and now I changed it out to a Minn Kota 55 edge. Show you guys the uh, hummingbird real quick. This is the hummingbird 598. It's got down scan, side imaging, GPS. Really sweet unit. Definitely recommend this. I'll show you what I can show you uh, without getting in the boat. Over here, mostly just jig heads, scrounger heads, a bunch of square bills, jigs. I said a lot of these boxes I'll change out throughout the year. This side we got hooks, terminal tackle, a bunch of shaky heads. I'll show you guys my new system for all my power team lure baits. I don't have them all with me, I just brought one crate. I got them all in these plano boxes now. The hog tonic was leaking out of the bags uh, pretty good, so it was making a big mess. So now I got them all in these plano boxes. Worked out really good. Let me hop in here real quick. Okay, you guys seen those compartments? Live well. I don't really use it, so I kind of use it for storage. Got a bumper in there. Sea post, a couple anchors, rope. I don't think there's anything under this seat right now. I usually just keep a rope under there. There's some towels. Keep my buoys right there. Got a couple props in here. Just some miscellaneous tackle. Got a heavy death dealer bark. Quick shout out to Skip. Blood Knot 101. Definitely check him out if you haven't. He makes an awesome frog. Bark. Clatterbrat.com. There's his website. www.clatterbrat.com. Like I said, check him out. Bullet Knot 101 on YouTube. Awesome guy. Awesome channel. Life jacket. Under here, more miscellaneous tackle. Trouble hooks. Flashlights. Bunch of frogs, a miscellaneous box. See, under the console, I got a bucket, just a bunch of towels. Once in a while, once in a while, wipe down the boat. This is the uh, McGuire's wash and wax anywhere. Good stuff. We'll keep pledge on the boat. Wipe my rods down, clean the guides out. 
got my wave away, some bug spray. So we've got a hand sanitizer. Let's see here, up front here. This compartment we got the uh, extra life jacket. This is my spotlight. I have a video on that. Check that out if you guys are curious. This is all my like JJ's magic and scent, that kind of stuff. This box here is much all my kind of swim baits, stuff like that. Center. This is what I use the most. These couple containers. This one here is full of. Let's see here. This one is full of like chunks, trailers, stuff like that. This one here, mostly grubs. More chunks. These are all craws in here. I got two containers. Those are two 25 quart containers. We got yum, net bait, missile baits, big bite baits. Here we got a uh, trigger craws, pit bosses, a bunch of uh, rage craws. All my power team lures. I used to keep two containers um, right off front here. I said now that I changed them all out to those cases. I'm still debating how I'm going to organize the boat with that. Like I said I have a couple more crates at home. I may just line them up up front here. I may put them in the middle. Really not sure yet. I got my grip up here. I got a review on that on my channel too. Definitely check that out if you're interested. As you can see, I don't use my. Uh, this is my rod locker here. As you can see, I don't use it for rods. Let's put more tackle in there. When I get to the lake, I'll have all my rods lined up on the deck and before I fish. I usually stack them here in the corner, right by the seat, that way they're out of the way. This compartment here, we got a couple bags in here. One's full of worms, one's full of tubes. These work really good today. These are the uh, smoking roosters. Almost went through a full pack. Got a box full of spinner baits and buzz baits. And this box here is all like creature baits, stuff like that. So, like I said, this stuff will change out throughout the year, but for the most part, that's what I bring with me. My net, you guys have asked about that before. This is a, uh, see here, XBS. I think it's a Bill Dance. Yeah, it's right there. XBS Bill Dance Signature Series Net. The scale that I use, this is an actual BOGO grip. Awesome scale. Right up front here is where I keep all my pliers and stuff. We got pliers, um, cutters, split ring pliers, scissors, forceps, ruler. There's a windshield. That's pretty much it, guys. That's what I bring with me most of the time. And uh, like I said, I don't change it out too much. I keep my, uh, what do you call that? Lure retriever, keep it strapped down right there. I also have my other one. It's under here too somewhere. Yeah, that's right there. 44 mag. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.